Hello, today we're looking at cells, tissues and organs for biology for key stage three. So cells, how they relate to tissues and how they relate to organs. Before we do that, you can download the work along sheet from the description below. It looks a bit, a bit like this. Uh, you can use that, print it off and write notes along with the video if you wanted to. Of course, you can just use paper and of course, you don't have to take any notes at all. So let's take a look at the idea of how cells relate to tissues and organs. Here is a cell. So this is one of the cells we're going to talk about today. It's supposed to be a muscle cell. And remember, like other cells, it has a nucleus. It has its cytoplasm with mitochondria and ribosomes in it, something we talked about in a previous video. And of course, it's cell membrane. So when we have cells that work together, cells that work together, for example, muscle cells, we'll have a whole bunch of them and they might look a bit like this. So these cells that have a similar function and that are working together, we refer to that as a tissue. So this example would be muscle tissue. So we have cells of a similar type that can work together. And when they work together, we call that a tissue. Now, sometimes, in fact, very often, many tissues work together as well. So tissues also work together as well to perform a particular function. And for our example here, muscle tissue working together would make muscle. So we take some of this tissue. Let's just put that into a slightly better scale. So here's our muscle tissue uh, made of muscle cells. So those cells are, of course, very tiny compared to the whole muscle there. So we can just put those into our muscle. And there we go. So we now have something called an organ. This organ, in our example, is the muscle. So we've got muscle tissue or different types of muscle tissue working together to make our organ, which is the muscle. Now, muscles don't just work alone. There are many of them in the body. So here we have a whole bunch of different types of muscle in the body. And when we have many of those organs, many of those muscles working together, so the organs can work together. And when they do that, we call that an organ system. So this is an organ system. Organ system. And this particular one, because there are more than one, or there's more than one organ system, this is called the muscular system. The muscular system. Okay, so there's not just one system in the body, there's lots of different systems that make up the body. So we could do a little summary here. We have cells of a particular type, so cells, they'll work together to form tissues, tissues will work together to form organs, and organs will work together to form organ systems. Now there is one layer on top of that as well. Organ systems can also work together to make an organism, make a whole organism, a whole living thing, and we could just put down a couple of examples. We've got humans, that's you and I. Trees are, of course, organisms as well. Even something, fish. And, of course, lots and lots of different living organisms on the planet. So let's take a look at two more organ systems in the body. So we're going to look at two more examples. So here we have a what's called a neuron. Sometimes people call it a nerve cell, but we call, we're going to call it a neuron. It has its nucleus, it has its cytoplasm and cell membrane, just like all other cells. And we can actually see how that makes an organ system. So we start off with the cell, the neuron cell. And when these join together, so we have our neuron or neuron. When they join together, they make what's called nerve tissue sometimes called nervous tissue. Nervous tissue there. And nervous tissue can join together to make organs, for example, the brain or the spinal cord. The brain or the spinal cord. And this particular example of neurons joining to make nerve tissue to make organs is the nervous system. This is another system in the body called the nervous system. Okay, so that's another example. We've got one final uh, example we're going to look at here. It's going to end up with the digestive system on the right-hand side there, but one example of a type of cell in the digestive system 
is a gland cell or gland cells. These can join together to make gland tissue, or sometimes you might say glandular tissue. So gland tissue or glandular tissue. We have glandular tissue joining with, in fact, muscle tissue as well to make the stomach. So the stomach is made of gland or glandular tissue and muscle tissue as well. That's one of the organs of the digestive system. There are, of course, other organs in the digestive system. This is, has two types of tissue that we can talk about. And the organs of the digestive system join together to make, in fact, the digestive system. So there's a little diagram of the digestive system. There we go. So that's two more examples of organ systems. Here's a little summary. We've got a group of cells working together that make tissue. A group of tissues working together to perform a particular job will make an organ. Organs working together to do a particular job would be the organ system. And when we have organ systems working together, we refer to that as the organism. And just as a recap, by organism we mean living things. So I think we mentioned humans before. We have plants, not just trees, as we said before, all sorts of different plants. Um, the other example I think we said was something like um, a fish, or in this case, I'm going to just say elephant, random organism there. Um, another type of plant could be something like daisies. I'm sure you are familiar with what daisies are, but these are just four types of organisms that are made of tissues, organs, organ systems. So that's it, a summary of cells, tissues, and organs to help you with your key stage three biology. And just a reminder, again, remember the work along sheet is in the description below. So you have a nice summary of this video. So you don't necessarily have to watch it again. You can just refer back to your notes if you need to. Thanks for watching and see you soon.